hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Angela. I'm a senior at McGill University, but if you watched my last vlog, you know that I am home for the holidays. This week, I'm actually going on a little trip with my parents to the West Coast. We are going to be going to Vancouver and Vancouver Island for around six days, and I am super excited because it's going to be my first time exploring the city. For now, I just need to go pack up my suitcase because I still haven't done that, but it's basically just moving stuff from my big suitcase that I brought back from Montreal into a carry-on to take with me. So that is my plan. And then in the afternoon, we'll be heading out to the airport for our flight, which leaves at three. We just had Chinese food and walked around the mall for a little bit and now we're gonna go to our hotel to check in. We just got to our hotel room. We are staying at the Holiday Inn Airport Express and it is very nice, but we need to shower and head to bed because tomorrow we have to wake up super early. Good morning. It is almost 8.30 now, but we woke up this morning at 6.30 and had breakfast at our hotel and then we drove out because we have to catch our ferry. We are currently in line and our ferry leaves at around 9 a.m. and we should be on Vancouver Island in Victoria at 10.30 roughly. So that is where we are going to be staying tonight for one night in Victoria and then tomorrow we will be taking the ferry ride back to Vancouver. We have arrived in Victoria, but it is raining right now. We went to Beacon Hill Park for a little bit, but since it's raining, we didn't leave the car for very long. But now we are here at the Fisherman's Wharf. Everything is basically closed for the season for winter. So there's not much to see, but it's very, very cute. And now I think we're gonna go head into Victoria downtown area. So we ate our lunch at Taco Fino, which my sister recommended and it was so good. Highly recommend. But now we are just walking around Victoria. This is the Fairmont Empress and it is stunning. We just walked around inside and now we are heading over to the Parliament Building. So we just finished exploring Victoria and it was a lot of fun. We are heading over to check into our hotel now, which is another Holiday Inn Express, but the Victoria one. I also picked up a mug from Starbucks, which is their Victoria mug, because I have a collection of them. And it's super cute, and it has some of the places that we went to today, which is really cool. We just chilled at our hotel for a little bit, but now we're gonna head back into the city for dinner. I made a reservation at Ferris's Upstairs Seafood and Oyster Bar, which I have heard really good things about online, so I'm really excited to try it out. Just 
just got back to our hotel room. We had dinner at Ferris's, which was really good. We got a bunch of seafood and it was all delicious. And then afterwards for our post-dinner stroll, we went back to the parliament buildings because at night they turn on the Christmas lights and it's so cute. Morning, it is Wednesday now. We are going to head out soon to drive up to Nanaimo today. Our ferry back to Vancouver is at night. So we have the entire day to continue exploring Vancouver Island. But before that, we're gonna grab some hotel breakfast before it closes. So we just drove for around two hours. We just actually passed Nanaimo a little bit. We're in a little district called Coombs, but my dad saw this place in Amazing Race Canada when they came to Nanaimo. It's called like Goats on the Roof and it's like this little market area. So we're gonna go and explore it. We just walked around the little old market which is where like the goats on the roof place is but they didn't have any goats on the roof today because it was a little cold but i did pick up some donuts from their little billy g's donut shop it's so cute they have so many different flavors so i got two different ones to try i have the nanaimo bar one because we're in nanaimo so you obviously have to get the nanaimo one it's got like the custard as the icing and then a bunch of like cookie crumble stuff as the topping and then i also got their wango mango donut this one is mango icing with coconut so we're gonna try them mm. 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 this one's really good i really like it mm. so now we're gonna go drive back into actual nanaimo and check it out old city quarter and it's really cute but it's raining outside so we just did some window shopping but i did pop into boca's cafe which i heard was like where the best nanaimo bars are they had so many different flavors gluten-free options vegan options but i just ended up getting their traditional and their peanut butter nanaimo bars which i'm super excited to try but i'm very full right now from those donuts and that was already enough sweets so i'll eat these a little bit later and let you know how they are but i'm super excited to try them because it's nanaimo and you have to try a nanaimo bar anyways we're gonna go head over to the downtown area now and and go check that out. We are currently stopped at a Petro Canada because my dad is filling up the gas. But basically, yeah. afternoon, we just like tried to kill time and went to a mall and then went to McDonald's for a little bit because it was raining outside, so there wasn't anything to do. But then for dinner, we went to a restaurant called Pirate Chip and they specialize in like fish and chips and like fried food. They have like a really famous deep fried Nanaimo bar that was apparently on Dragon's Den, but we didn't order that because we already have Nanaimo bars that we still haven't eaten, which I will be trying very soon. We got the peanut butter bacon cheeseburger or something like that. It was actually really good and then we also got the fish and chips the portions are were gigantic so we only ordered two things and we just split them but yeah we are heading over to the ferry terminal now to go catch the ferry back to vancouver So we just got back into our car, but we are about to get off at the ferry terminal here at Horseshoe Bay. But I wanted to try out my Nanaimo bars that I picked up today. I got a classic and a peanut butter. So let's test them out. This one's the regular and this is the peanut butter. Let me just try the regular one first. Mmm, it's really good. Let me try the peanut butter. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes just like a Reese's. It's not that sweet. For like something that's like a dessert, I don't think it's that sweet. Bucket list ticked off. I think we have arrived at the terminal, but we're just waiting to unload now. So we are gonna head over to our hotel. We just arrived at the Sure Stay by Best Western here in North Vancouver. So we are gonna go head to bed and then I will see you in the morning. 
Good morning, it is Tuesday and we are currently heading out of our hotel and we are going to go grab a little bit of breakfast before we head over to Lynn Canyon, which is like this suspension bridge that my friends recommended we go to instead of Capilano, which is like the popular touristy one because that one's like 50 bucks per person and Lynn Canyon is free. So. just picked up our pastries from the Thomas Haas bakery which my friend James recommended and it's super popular like the line is so long it's out the door and waited like I don't know 15 minutes but they have so many different pastry options and chocolate options but I just picked up two things because we're not that hungry I got the double baked almond croissant and a seasonal fruit danish I also picked up a matcha latte because I wanted one now that's what we're gonna have for breakfast and we'll see you at Link Canyon currently at Lynn Canyon and it is so beautiful. Thank you to my friends for this recommendation. I am really testing my fear of heights today but it's really worth it because it's so pretty. Look at this. I'm obsessed. We're gonna keep walking around Lynn Canyon and then we will head into Vancouver. just leaving Lynn Canyon right now. It was super nice. Highly, highly recommend. We are now heading into actual Vancouver. We're going to go over to Greenleaf Sushi for lunch, which is a sushi place that all my friends from Vancouver have recommended to me. So I'm very, very, very excited. I've heard that it's like a Miku, but less expensive. our lunch at Greenleaf Sushi. I've been hearing my friends talk about this place literally since first year of university. We got their special aburi platter and it was so good. We got to try like six different types of their aburi sushi and it was so delicious. Now we are going to go head over to UBC campus because we're in the area anyways. We just finished exploring the Granville Island area. We went to the public market and then checked out the other markets nearby. They're all very cute. And now we are going to check into our hotel, which is near Stanley Park. We just checked into our hotel or like kind of like an Airbnb thing that I found on Travel Zoo. It's called Rosalind Suites at Stanley Park. So we're literally right next to Stanley Park. It's like a giant suite. So we have like a living room and a dining table. The bathroom is over here. We even have like a kitchen area and then there is the bedroom over there. But this is where we will be staying for the night. So we are currently at Harborfront area right now. We're just parked next to Canada Place and the Fairmont Pacific Room is just behind us. We just wanted to come and check out the Harborfront area because there's like a really cute little Christmas market that's running back there, but the parking prices downtown are crazy. Also, we didn't buy tickets for the actual Christmas market, so I don't think we're gonna be able to go, but it's super cute from the outside. It looks like a carnival inside. It's really adorable. We are going to drive over to get some dinner a little bit later, so I will take you along for all of that. We're 
we're back at our hotel and we had dinner earlier at Hawker's Delight Deli, which is like a Malaysian slash Singaporean restaurant. We ordered the laksa, we got their Hainanese chicken rice and their nasi goreng, which was all really good. And then we just kind of walked around that area for a little bit, but now we're back here. We're just going to take a chill and then tomorrow we will wake up early to explore more of the downtown area. Good morning, it is Wednesday. We are about to head out now to go explore a little bit of Stanley Park and then walk around downtown a little bit. So that is the plan for today, but I will bring you along with us and see what we get up to. currently walking along the seawall here at Stanley Park. It's so pretty. We're gonna go check out the totem poles now and then we're gonna head into downtown and do a little bit of exploring there as well. some breakfast from Brecca Bakery and Cafe. I got myself a matcha latte and we also got some bread. We got a brioche loaf and also a pretzel ham and cheese melt, which is like a pretzel croissant, I think, which I'm super excited about. But we are heading back over to our hotel to go eat our breakfast and then we're gonna head out again to explore downtown. finished exploring downtown Vancouver. We walked all the way down Robson and we grabbed an Okonomi hot dog from Japa Dog, which was really good. So I got to take that off my list. And then we just continued to explore the area. We walked through Pacific Center, which is the main mall area. And then we went for a late lunch at Marutama Ramen. Originally, I wanted to try Ramen Danbo because my friends had recommended it to me. But when we got there, the line was super long outside, even though it was like 2 p.m. So we ended up checking out Marutama Ramen, which is just down the street. And they didn't have a wait so we ate there instead. We got their regular tamago ramen, shoyu ramen, and we got a cashew rice on the side as well and it was all really good. But now we are gonna head over to Burnaby to check into our final hotel of our stay. We just checked into our hotel. We're staying at the Holiday Inn Express in Metrotown in Burnaby tonight. And we're just going to chill here for a little bit before heading out for dinner later. But we're literally staying in the Metropolis Mall. But we're gonna go explore that a little bit later. The people who were checking us in were super nice and they gave us like this map and recommendations for places to eat for dinner tonight. So we're gonna choose somewhere to eat and then we will head out. We just explored Metro Town a little bit. We went to Crystal Mall and walked through the shopping mall here. But now we're gonna go get some dinner. I think we're gonna go try to get a spot at Mist, which is like a Taiwanese restaurant that I found online. We are back at our hotel after a very, very delicious meal. We had dinner at Mist, which is like an Asian fusion restaurant. We ordered the Taiwanese beef noodle soup, which was so good. Honestly, better than some of the ones that I've had in Taiwan. And I've tried like almost every single super popular one in Taipei. So that's saying a lot. And we also got their Thai style fried rice in a pineapple, which was super good as well. And then we got another veggie dish as well. So we had such a good meal there. Probably one of my favorite meals that we had on this trip but now we are probably just going to watch a bunch of tv and then head to bed soon good morning we just had breakfast at the hotel and now we are going to check out and just explore maybe a little bit more burnaby and then head over to richmond a little bit later our flight tonight is at 6 p.m so we need to get to the airport a little bit earlier than that but that is the plan for today so i will take you along with us and see what we get up to for our last day in vancouver explored the Steveston area which is where the Fisherman's Wharf is in Richmond and now we're gonna go to Richmond Center which is like a shopping mall and check out that area as well before we choose a restaurant to eat some dim sum at for our late lunch. 
We wanted to go to Kieran Seafood Restaurant for dim sum, which is right next to Richmond Center, but they were full when we got there, so we have to try another place. So we are heading over to Chef Tony's now. We are right back where we started at Aberdeen Mall. We're just walking around for a little bit before we have to head over to the airport. So let's do some shopping. We're currently at the Petro Canada, just filling up our gas before we return our rental car and then head into the airport to check in for our flight, which is at 6 p.m. We have landed back in Toronto. It is currently 2.30 in the morning. I literally just slept on the plane for like the entire flight basically. But now we are waiting for my sister to come pick us up from the airport. But that was our trip to Vancouver. I had so much fun. We thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more videos about my life as a McGill student and soon to be new grad. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!